America, The Winter Soldier is the third Marvel Cinematic Universe released after The Avengers. And it basically follows Captain America dealing with the actions of S.H.I.E.L.D. and uncovering a conspiracy of some sort. And that's me trying to explain the plot without giving anything away, along with introducing the Winter Soldier in here. And this is probably the best Phase 2 film that's come out of the Marvel Universe after the Avengers. It is the best. It stands up tall against Thor and Iron Man 3. But let's first start with something that's very impressive in this film is the characters. Which, they're all very well realized. You really get a sense of how tragic the character Captain America Steve Rogers is. Because he's in this time where he's doing a lot of these covert ops and he's having to deal with these consequences and it's not really something that he does. He was he's always blues about freedom and people's rights and this movie throws him a situation where he has to question some of those calls. And with that story you get more of character development from Black Widow and Nick Fury. They have a lot to do in this film and they are given a tremendous amount of stuff to do and you really get to see some of their characters. And then you have Sam Wilson who is the Falcon in the film and he's just his character is good too. He's just kind of like thrown in there but it's just it's not he's not thrown in there. He's important because it deals with this aspect. I'm not going to really go into it right now but you know it's about patriotism and stuff. I like this character. And then we have Alexander Pierce, played by Robert Redford, who is a legend in spy thrillers. And just him having in there kind of makes that movie, this movie even more credible. Now, this is what you're probably all wondering about the Winter Soldier. Is he good in it? He is very intimidating. When you see this guy on screen, you're intimidated and you fear for the other characters because he is very calculative, very skilled, and very ruthless. And because all these characters are realized, you really do fear for them when this guy shows around or when these action scenes begin to play, which let's talk about that. It's so nice to see directors that understand how to shoot action. I mean, it's not huge. I mean, they have choreographed stunts, car chases, really nice executed fight scenes, but the actors were involved in. They knew how to shot it, but they knew how to shoot these scenes with such a precise direction that you begin to once again feel for the danger of these characters and you're excited. And they can also build a lot of tension with these action scenes. When you look at the directors, they haven't done anything action-wise. They uh, came off straight off the uh, TV show community. But they also really do care, and they know, and they're going to get a lot more work. And I recently read that they're going to be back for Captain America 3, which I prove of they did a fantastic job. The overall story is great. You really get to uh, see where these characters are going, and it pushes the Marvel Cinematic Universe forward, which is what some of the other films didn't do. You definitely get you definitely didn't do that with Iron Man 3. And you kinda got a little bit of it from Thor 2, but this one totally pushed those events forward into, you know, the next Avengers film, which I believe is called Avengers Age of Ultron. Some bits of the story were kind of Underwhelming. There were some missed opportunities that Kate could have had, but I'll talk more about that in like a spoiler discussion. And for a movie that's called Captain America the Winter Soldier, he doesn't appear that much. He appears more in the later end, but you would imagine a film called The Winter Soldier, you would see more of The Winter Soldier, but these review these nitpicks are very minor into a film that Withholds itself to its standards and improves upon its sequel. 
and tells a great story, has great action, great fight scenes, great characters, and great direction. So I'm going to give Captain America the Winter Soldier four and a half out of five stars. Definitely in my top three Marvel films in the universe, it'd probably be Iron Man, The Avengers, Captain America, Winter Soldier. That's how it stacks up. It's that good. So if you haven't seen it yet, go see it. If you have, tell me about it, leave a comment. And I will be doing a spoiler discussion if you have seen it. Um, I won't keep it. Cool. A spoiler discussion will be coming soon. Absolutely, I have to talk about this stuff because I feel like you guys need to know exactly where all of this is leading to. I'm very familiar with this universe and you guys are going to be... You guys need to know why I'm so excited about these set. things that are going to happen. So, um, thank you and please subscribe. <laughs>